the fact two. Okay. Um, and then another being Ali Books on Life with Voice, which you don't really. She is one. She is. I would say, if I made this, there would be two main characters. Not just Tess, it would be her and Tess because it's mainly them living, Tess living in a house full of boys and Allie helping her. Not just Tess and Allie's in a little bit, it's them together always. Like, there's always a scene in the episode of them being together, meaning it's the whole episode or it's just a piece. Like, there's an episode called The Principal and it's them just talking. And talking. Um, and then Madison also land, and then here's go back a couple of years in two, main, two main roles in 2011, the gameplay co starring alongside The Rock. She also landed a voice well in Ice Age The Mountain Christmas, which is not on here, so I don't know who she was. Um, it's not in the photography section. Okay, so now I'll tell you a couple of things that they did not in, that I did not include in the little paragraph I read about her. Um, she was in 2012. She was in some Lab Rats episodes, which I will tell you which ones. Can I blow your helicopter? Season one, episode ten, which. Watch it in the order and you'll get what's happening. If you watch them from backwards, you'll not get what's happening at all. Trust me. And then she, in season one, she did three episodes. Um, Back to the Future, which was a really good episode, which got me hooked on Lab Rats as well. Um, episode 11. And then Alia, which also got me hooked um, in episode 16. And that's all in season one. So episode 10, 11, and 16, um, she was in season 1. Season 2, she was in two episodes. Uh, Adventure, season 2, six, episode 16. And then Prank You Very Much, episode 22. So those were season 2. And season 3 is coming out soon, so you can catch that once you watch. Um, and that's um, Lava season 1 is on, season 1 is on Netflix, so... You can wait until season two comes down and just record them. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Um She's in Phoebe's 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 sorry and Ferb um as Ally Sweetwater. I believe she's the girl that I don't know, I don't watch Phoebe's and Ferb. She um she's not like one of the main roles, I don't believe. And if you want to know the episode of Hannah Montana she was in, she was as the cow in Cody in the house. Um, Takes the job and love it. Season 2, episode 18. 8, 8, not 18, 8. So, yeah. Now, um, I guess I can tell you about life with boys a little bit. I have three papers telling me about two two of the main characters and one that I think goes along with Tess because it's a twin brother. So the ones in color are the main characters and the one in black and red is just the brother. So like Tess, Ali, and Sam. So I will, you can probably get the gist on Tess about what the show is about. Um, and this is on the YTV uh website that you can get this um and like all the characters so these are all the characters right here this is tess this is ally that's spencer that's gabe that's sam and that's jack the dad they have no mom and they have a female dog and this is the title um what else and they're on t next so Go see if you have it on there. Okay, so Tess. A typical teen, Tess loves clothes, boys, friends, and fun. But Tess' typical teen dumb is something completely by testimonies. Filled household. Lucky enough. Okay. 
I'm going to pause and explain this because sometimes it gets confusing. So they're just saying that she she's a typical teen. She loves clothes, boys, friends, and fun. But Tessa's typical teen um, is different because she is in a house full of boys. Luckily, she got her best friend, Allie, this girl. To go with, go to when she needs some girl power. So when she's stuck in the boys and she's acting like a boy and she just needs girl power, she goes there. Uh, self confident, outgoing, and funny. Test life is nearly and is a near, never ending series of embarrassment moments, but she can survive almost anything with Allie's help. So going off the end with Allie to Allie. Allie is Tess's best friend. Now, in one of the episodes, they almost broke up, but they can't because they're best friends. Like, they have everything in common. They have nothing in common. Allie is a unmannerly girly girl. A bright and popular cheerleader who is obsessed with makeup and fashion. She's a fixture at Foster Health, despite never quite understanding how Tess can survive life. With a full house of boys. She's a new child. Now, this is Sam's. This is Tess's twin brother. And I thought this was important to conclude because they're twins. Um, okay. Definitely not. Sam, definitely. Sam is definitely not a cool kid. Sam is Tess's twin brother who's less successful with girls than his older brother, Gabe. He's very smart, studious, and quick for about his own quickiness. Now, in season one, he is attached. He wants to be with Allie. And then, um, in one of my favorite episodes, is called The Big Kiss Off. Um, she explains to him about why they don't want, why he doesn't want to be, why she doesn't want to be, um, girlfriend and boyfriend and um they are taking baby steps to be friends and so that's all i have for you actually no this is not all i have for you so i can tell you a little bit more about madison pettis um i learned some things off of a youtube video that so Allie um put up um the best friend tag with madison pettis Allie simpson madison pettis um so just type in Madison Pettis or Allie Simpson and Madison Pettis and that will come up. So I learned some things. Her favorite number is 22 because she was born at 22, which if you want to join her Twitter, it's Madison Pettis 22. Um, okay. Um, on this page, I have some questions about that she answered. Um... So here's what she says about Life with Boys. Mainly they interviewed her for Life with Boys. A Life with Boys, Madison Pettis says, to her new show is something all teenage girls can relate to. It's true. She expresses, everyone has a bad date. Everyone is struggling in high school to figure it out. And actress might be, okay. And then this is what they say. The, this actress might be young. But she's wise beyond her years. Now, what you will be learning about Madison in here is that she isn't a typical actress. She isn't all about the fame and getting her hair done and all that. She is about being herself and being an actress. Um, what she wants to be when she grows up is actress, a model, and a voice actress, and she says she's living the dream. Now she's not trying to in the in this in this video in the video I just watched. She's not saying that to be rude and to be like, "Oh, I'm living the dream," and you're not. She's just saying that I'm living the dream that I wanted to live. Mainly. So the first question is, "Are you in school?" She says, when I am not shooting, I go to school every day. Now, this is very important for me to figure out. 
because when she's not shooting any movies, any TV shows for three months, she didn't go to school. But you'll see why. But you'll see how she got to do. But when she, for a couple, let's see. Now, oh, every year she did something. In 2008, she didn't do anything. She went to school. What year did she do anything? 2010. She didn't do anything. So that whole year, she went for a whole year of school. So I like that about her. When I am shooting, I have a tutor to help me on set. So instead of not going to school, she does. Because... And she doesn't go to a special school for actresses. She goes just to learn. Um, so I have like my neck. If I don't move my neck a lot, my neck really hurts. Randomness. Okay. What's it like being a star on TV and going to a high, and being a high school student? Now this was impressive of what she said. Um, just because of her being such a learning as a, such a young actress and what she says expires me and and on twitter she's not all about like i'm shooting this music video for austin Maroon, blah 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 which we'll see um she's like she says she's a role model for all of the girls that she the people watch so Okay, I love it. I think that's the part of me what keeps me grounded. So not going crazy, and what that means is not going crazy about being a star on TV. I love going to football games, and going to homecoming dances, and just doing normal things. That really touched my heart when she said normal things. She didn't say going shopping and spending money and that kind of stuff. Or meaning famous people, she said normal things. So she rather, she wouldn't rather, but she would, if she could pick being famous every day, which she is, or let's say being Madison Pettis, the actress. Every day and being like, oh, look at my clothes, oh, oh. Or being Madison Pettis, going to photo shoots, going to um, hang out with friends, uh, doing shows, doing stuff she loves to do, but also going to football games and homecoming dances. She'd rather pick the second one than the first one. Find the first one, hello, second one. Okay, what, now this was important. I wanted to see how she would answer this question. It was, what do your classmates think about your job? Um, my classmates are really supportive, and all my friends are really excited. Of course, they miss me when I'm gone, but I still text and Skype with them. So they're not just friends with Madison Pattis because she's Madison Pattis. They're friends with her because she wants to be friends with that massive. Yeah. What's your show about? Um, the show is about Tess and Allie, two best friends trying to figure out high school and crazy and and crazy boys. My character is a girly is a girly girl fashionista who's totally into fashion and makeup. Of course, boy, and of course, boys. Tess is the opposite, total opposite. She's Ashley, she's on the wrestling team, and she lives with a bunch of boys. Are you a girly girl like your, like your character? Allie and I have both really similar, really, really into fashion. But we have different styles. She is over the top and she'll go to school in a skirt on her heels. And always wearing rhinestones and sequins. I, on the other hand, am more relaxed. I decide to edge your and behind me. What's it like on set? No, she, this is all about Life with Boys, so don't worry if you're confused. It's all about Life with Boys. It's really fun on set because Tori is my best friend in real life. This is what really touched me. So, 
this is what she's good at. Um, this is what helps her. Why is my camera all the way back there? This is what helps. She says this is what helps her act as someone being a best friend. She is best friends with in real life with that character and best friends on the show. Combined, that makes like total best friends. The boys are awesome. They There's a teenage boy who's a trusted brother. He's my age and two younger boys. We have lots of fun. And this is also a good one. When you're acting, when you're not in acting or in school, what do you like to do? The things I like to do most is shopping. My castmate and me are total fashion addicts. Topshop is one of my favorites. We shoot in Tokyo, so I'm going, I go, I'm, I love going to different stores there, like Housing, Free People, Bailey, BCBG, and Wired Fox. We also love to sh to love to watch Gossip Girl. So yeah, yeah, I'll show you a couple pictures really quick for this video. It gets way too long. So here's one, Tori. And this is one of my favorites. It's black and white, which it came in black and white. It wasn't, I didn't put it in black and white. One of her modeling. And this is one that's on her Instagram. I love this shirt. My friend actually has one of these as well. And I love her hair in there. And then this is one of Madison with uh, short hair. Uh, straight hair, which she is curly hair. Which her hair is really long when it's straightened. And really short when it's curly, so. Yeah, I like curly hair. Okay, and then this is her, it's, it's Allie. This is her with curly hair. So in the show, she has curly hair. Which, they look nothing alike. Which, they look nothing alike. Probably because of the makeup and also because of, uh, she has straight hair. Makeup, right? Um, so that's maybe it. Um, so that there'll be a third part coming right up. Bye.